East Hearts Council looks after a lot in this district, from ensuring your bins are emptied to maintaining award-winning parks. We provide 80 different services and these cost £18 million a year to run. That's a lot of money and it's key that we spend it responsibly and wisely on the things that matter most to people in East Hearts. And that's where you come in. Every year, we ask for your opinions on where we spend some of the money. In the past, this often meant asking you where you thought we should be spending more money. However, in the current economic climate, we need to change our focus. In October, the government announced the Comprehensive Spending Review, and this revealed major cuts to our funding. Many people wrongly think that the bulk of our funding comes from council tax. In fact, only 14% comes from council tax. It is government grants that make up just over half of our income. In real terms, this means we'll be receiving 28% less from the government over the next four years. This drop highlights just how necessary it is for us to take significant steps to reduce our spending. Quite rightly and sensibly, the Council wants to set a budget that allows us to operate within our means. But we're also legally obligated to make sure we balance the books. It's inevitable that having less money in the future will impact on the way we do business and affect the services we provide. We know we need to make some tough decisions about what we do to address the significant shortfall in funding. It's therefore paramount that when giving us your feedback, you are pragmatic and recognise there is less money around. We would urge you to try as best you can to be bold with the choices you make. This is because carrying on regardless or just making minor changes are not realistic options. To some extent, you may need to think about your least worst option rather than your preferred option. If you take part in the consultation, and we hope you do, you'll see that we're asking you to consider several things. However, there are some services we cannot look to change. For a start, some are statutory requirements, which means we are legally obliged to provide them pretty much as they are. Then there are our frontline services, which the public use most of the time. As a council, we've made a decision to avoid making cuts to these wherever possible. We're targeting back office and support services instead and looking at the way we do business. For example, we have recently reviewed the employment terms and conditions of our entire workforce. Next year, all our back office staff will be brought under one roof, saving council taxpayers the cost of running two large offices. Unfortunately, there is only so much we can save that way, and that's why some of the options we are putting to you will inevitably affect some residents directly. So, to the topics. The first is Police Community Support Officers, or PCSOs as they are often known. At the moment, we contribute £45,500 towards them. Because the Police and Home Office also contribute funds, it means that together we have four PCSOs patrolling in East Hearts. However, the Home Office grant is soon to be withdrawn and it is likely that our contribution would only be able to fund one full-time or two part-time officers. The question we're asking you is whether we continue to spend money in this way. We're also asking you about the amount of money we spend on community grants and funding. Every year, we give around £400,000 to groups and organisations. This includes organisations such as the Citizens Advice Bureau and money to subsidise bus routes around the district. We also give a lot of lesser grants to smaller organisations. We are looking for your thoughts on seven individual grants. The question is, by how much do you think we could reduce these? It's obviously important to us that we consult and engage with the public, as this exercise proves. At the moment, we set aside £19,200 to do this. We have already identified the greater use of online methods and social media, rather than face-to-face -face consultations, could achieve significant savings. Savings could also be made around holding council meetings and public meetings. The question is, 
To what extent do we make any changes? Public toilets are an area we have already made great strides in addressing through the launch of our community toilet scheme. Businesses in Ware and Bishop Stortford are now providing clean, safe and accessible toilets. These are instead of our outdated and uninviting facilities that were expensive to maintain and subject to vandalism and misuse. But so far, we've been unable to forge similar partnerships in Hartford, Buntingford or Sawbridgewood, which means we are still spending around £100,000 a year to maintain public lavatories in these towns. The question is, do we continue to do so? Another scheme we currently operate helps people find accommodation in the private sector, especially single people and couples with no children. Where people cannot afford to pay a deposit up front, or their first month's rent in advance, the scheme offers a temporary loan, preventing many becoming homeless. Last year we helped 28 households this way, but from next year the government grant to run the scheme will stop. It would cost around £30,000 a year for East Hearts to continue the scheme. The question is, do we continue, stop or reduce the amount we make available? Finally. East Hearts has a strong community and cultural offering, thanks to support from the Council. We have great arts events and venues, flourishing museums and community groups running a host of activities. In a lot of cases, we provide services direct, but over recent years, we have moved more from provider to enabler in many areas. For example, we used to run summer place schemes, but now we fund others to provide these services reducing costs. The question is, do we do more of that in order to reduce the £82,000 spent last year on supporting these areas? So that's what we want you to look at and the online software will allow you to decide to what extent you would like each of the areas described to be affected. There's a sliding scale that allows you to change the level of expenditure decrease in each of the areas identified so you can see what impact your decisions will make on the overall budget. It's important to understand that while your views will help inform the decisions Council makes about the budget for next year, they will not be the only influence. Other factors will influence the decisions Council make, not least the consultations we are carrying out with businesses and hard to reach groups. Thank you in advance for taking part in the consultation. We appreciate that it's your money and services we are talking about. So the more we can gauge what you think, the better we can react to the difficult financial pressures we are under.